Here's the first ball of the second innings. Blair Pocock there. It's a little bit concerned. And what he might be with Akron bowling. Young is out, New Zealand lose their first wicket in the first over, but no runs on the board. Well, this looks a quicker ball from Akram, and it comes back into Young, and he gets an inside edge, and that's a superb catch from Rashid, going well to his left, and New Zealand lose their first. Away goes Young, and New Zealand have lost their first wicket with no runs on the board. Different angle, watching Brian Young. Uh, nicked that one inside edge, and it was a great catch from Rashid. And uh, disastrous start for New Zealand. Andrew Jones. Didn't need to play it really, and he got a touch. Wassey Macram has a second one, and New Zealand eight for two. Well, we saw Jones against Waka Yunus square cut in here, that back foot, see that back foot there, and he gets, tries to play off the back foot through the offside. A rash shot, really, and uh, on his way, Andrew Jones, New Zealand, eight for two. He's actually sliding one outside the off stump away from Jones, who tries to slash it through the offside and does nothing more than get an end. Could well play a very important part. And a very a good ball from Wazzy Macrum, which causes Ken Rutherford all sorts of trouble, but which is going to bring runs to the New Zealanders. It's Ball's in the air. He's gone. And again, Blair Pocock pushing forward. Wazzy Macrum has found the edge and into the slips. New Zealand in further trouble. Pocock gone. Effective bowling here from Akram, bowling a couple of short ones and then one further up and Pocock reaching, just committing himself too early to the ball and at the end he really didn't need to play it but that angle of the left armour has brought the demise of Blair Pocock. So New Zealand now 31 for 3. And so uh, Wazzy Makram has a successful over, comes to an end, he got the wicket of Blair Pocock and really, Glenn, 31 for three. Not much of a lead in the first innings. This game uh, is uh, going on at hectic pace as we have another look at the dismissal. He's just taking the hand off the bat, and we saw that the blade opened as well, and just pushing a little wide there, Pocock. I don't think at the end he really wanted to play it, but he committed himself to it, and Mushtabar, the successful catcher. Away goes Mark Greatbatch, out without scoring, and uh, New Zealand are 35 to 4. What an awesome delivery this is from Wak Wazam Akram. Very quick. And Greatbatch getting into a very awkward position here, not knowing really what to do, whether to duck it or to try and paddle it around. And all he did really was just pop it straight up in the air. Good catch there by Enzamam. And uh, New Zealand. Real trouble now, just straight up to uh, T at 35 for four. He's gone again, it's up in the air this time, he must be gone. Anybody can catch him, something yeah. like does. And so duels, interesting, entertaining, enterprising, but uh, always ambitious innings has ended. And it's 103 now for eight. Yes, uh, pretty good effort there uh, by Simon Dole. So try to hit that one on the onside. Yeah, that's uh, the leading edge here, which ballooned the ball, ballooning in the air uh, behind the bowler and Salim Malik. And uh, a very long spell from this man. This will be his 17th over. Left arm over the wicket. And he's etched it. And he's gone. He's walking off. Just edging it through to the keeper and the straightforward catch New Zealand all out Wazzy Makram getting another wicket that's six to him marathon bowling spell and a straightforward catch and almost helping it through to the keeper Rashid so that will require 
Pakistan to bat tonight, probably for one or maybe two overs. So New Zealand, a dismal performance, all out for 110. So there's the sorry side of the New Zealand batting lineup, all out for 110.